Good afternoon, it's Jilly Q from a Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with another acrylic pour, but a, um, a Dutch pour, but <laughs> that's my little, my little um, airbrush sprayer. I had this from the Capriole Shabby Chic online store, um, the link is in the drop down box, I've had it quite a while. And I always forget to use it when I'm blowing out stuff. I use a hair dryer or mini dryer, but I just thought I'd give this a go again today. I'll just see how I go because I'm not real crash hot with these, um, what you call it, airbrush spraying things. But yeah, that's the little compressor. It, it kind of keeps turning itself on. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm um, doing fully, but I'm going to give it a go. Uh, hey. So this 40 by 40 canvas, I'm going to, um, this is what I'm going to do my art on. So I'm pouring the white paint, which is just the, is the Montmartre Studio acrylic, or I think they're calling it signature acrylic now, different name. So just with the normal pouring medium. <laughs> oh, my little compressor is keeps um, obviously the air's building up in it and it's kind of jumping around the table like a little a little hoppy bear or a little rabbit or something or oh. things amuse me oh dear must be a sad life hey eh? <laughs> okay let's get serious so I just want to try something it's kind of like a dutch paw but I'm not doing it in the obviously I'm not doing it with a hair dryer trying to do it something a little bit different with it so I'll just see how it goes I just want to make sure I have plenty of paint I'm not going to worry about my edges because I can always finish those finish those up afterwards if um, and especially if you're going to blow over the edges a lot of your paint ends up there anyway so just making sure I've got nice kind of even amount but if your table is level, I'm getting some pink there, but never mind. It's it's mostly pinks, the pinky tones that I'm working with today, so that's that's fine. But yeah, just make sure your table's level because usually paint is self-leveling. So if your paint table you that you're working on is level, as the paint dries, it kind of self-levels if it's got a level surface. So all is good in the world. They're all the Montmartre Studio Acrylic, so this is the, I think this is the Crim Caramine. I think this is called Caramine. No. <laughs> this little um, air compressor is wobbling all over the table. It's got its own little life of its own. There's no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. I've just got something in my head that I wanted to try. So, I will. I will, I will. Okay. This is the Brilliant Red. Ooh. Ooh -ooh. Actually, I'm not going to use that there. I'm going to... I've just quickly mixed up this out of that... The dark red, which was the carmine, and then I just added some navy blue to it. So it sent it like a berry colour. This is mine. Benson has got a bone here. Thought keep him occupied with a bone, but all I can hear is chunk, chunk, choo, choo, choo. 
I'm just going to see how I go with this paint first and I'm really hoping I've got another paint drying over there that is a commission for someone and I'm hoping I don't so I might have to blow this way because <laughs> um, I haven't got another surface to put there so let's give this little air blower a go Okay, it's not really blowing far enough. I'm not sure if I can alter the... No, I need to go to plan B because this is not... No, plan B. Oh, buggery. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm, I shouldn't have said that. That's naughty. Now it's gone out of my, the painting. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my chopper. Holy dooly. Well, not happy, Jen. Plan B. Let me think. Let me think. Well, I didn't have much luck with that, so I'm going to the airbrush. I'm not obviously not using it properly. I'll have to talk to my son. I'm going to try the hair dryer on it, but I've got to blow it away <laughs> and then turn it. So we'll give it another go. Here we go. Oh, okay. Plugs on, plugs in. Why is that not working? Oh. I suppose it would help if you switched it on, you silly Jimmy. Benson! Oh, he's a naughty boy! I'm not sure what he's barking at, probably his own shadow. Oh, what have I done there? Silly Jilly! Not to worry. Okay, I'm not sure what's happening with these. I don't like these holes. So it will be a kiss and blow, I'm pretty sure. I will get my scrubbled up. It's gone like a yucky, but I'm going to try it. I don't like these holes that have come out of it. And it's probably because you sh probably best to not use silicone when you're going to blow with the hair dryer. I'm not 100% I'm not sure. But, you know, you just go with it. I'm not having a very good run of it today but you know you have those days and you just work with it it's kind of using the balloon as a tool really to Benson you naughty boy sort 
of using the balloon as my um, paintbrush really. Well, you can't say that this isn't a bright one. <laughs> so it's not actually looking like balloon kisses because I'm using the balloon to just take the paint where I want the paint. So using it as my paintbrush. Okay. That's not too bad. That is such a vibrant colour. So with these colours that I made up out of the Montmartre paints, I had a little bit left over. Oh, just one second. Benson, you plonker. He's a plonker. Okay. Let's try. Just fixing up my edges finger is perfect or you can use the balloon definitely but that is it's really out there wild and complicated looking but but not complicated looking it's so vibrant that I I don't I'm not even tempted to scrape it because it's I don't know, the colours just jump out at you. What I was saying was when I mixed up this big bunch of paints, I mixed up my Montmartre, then I had some just left in the cups of the primary elements pigment that I'd mixed previously with some Montmartre pouring me. And I just added the corresponding colours. I added the reddish looking one to this paint and I can kind of see it glistening in there. So, and it really seems to have made the paints vibrant. So, and obviously changed the colours a bit. It's changed the colours on the, um, the Montmartre paints. So there you go. It was a bit of a struggle to get to this point, but I'm going to let it dry and see. <laughs> now looking at it up here, I mean, it looks a lot darker in this, but it's so bright and vibrant. Um, <laughs> No, do I do one big swipe over it? Oh, the struggle is real. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to throw caution to the wind. And I'm going to... I'm going to swipe it. I'm not... Not keen on it. I mean, it was... It is bright and vibrant, but I'm thinking... Well, if it's bright and vibrant now, then with a swipe over it in the same colours... Let's do it, people. Let's just do it. Okay. Shut your eyes. Shut your eyes. I will swipe on the diagonal, so I'm going to pour some more colour on the diagonal. This is pink. Oh. oh, the struggle's real. Just stay with me, people. Bear with me. If you're just not happy, just go for it. It's just paint. It's just paint. So, uh, I'm just going to go for it. Wowzers, this is going to be bright. Those colours, I must admit, it's the adding the primary elements to my Montmartre's paint, just the bit. It has so made them vibrant. And I can see now the glistening, the glitter kind of in the paint, the sheeny shininess. Okie dokie. Do I add my gorgeous plummy colour? This isn't as dark as I normally make the Berrylicious because I haven't added any black to it. I've just added that uh, dark red with the, the navy. Now I haven't really left colour. Oh, I can swipe with the navy. That's what I'll do. I'll swipe with navy. So bear with me. Benson, oh, he's such a naughty boy. I don't know what he's barking at. Sorry about that, peeps. It's true life. It's real life. And what can I do? Go out and gag him? I don't think so. Okie doke. I'll do this. I'm going to put the swipe colour diagonal 
Let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. I know that I'll have comments. Oh, I liked it before you swiped. Oh, I like... And you know what I find? You just can't... You can please some of the people some of the time, but you can't please all of the people all of the time. Impossible. Impossible. So... Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, went off the edge. Never mind. This is a soft plastic file divider and I just find it the absolute best thing to swipe with. I know what Benson's barking at now. I've realized my other dog, Bindi, the shepherd, she's got a bone. So she would be teasing him with it. She wouldn't be wanting to eat it, but she certainly wouldn't be letting him have the bone. So that's what's happening out there. Naughty girl. Kind of gone off to the side. I should have just turned it around. I don't do things the easy way <laughs> sometimes. So don't forget, if there's something that you don't like and it's not sitting well with you with a painting, just try and do different things, do a balloon kiss, do a, do a swipe and see if you get any different results that you like. And if you don't, you just, you <laughs> just scrape it. Husband's at the window pulling faces at me. Oh, he's just trying to be funny, trying to make me laugh. Okay, I'm not sure I've done this any favours, I must admit, but we'll see. You have to just wait, see what develops. I will put photos on at the end. Either way, whatever happens. Okay, that's really busy, busy, busy. Uh... Just might giving it some balloon kisses down the diagonal only. God, this balloon, this balloon is um, not faring too good. It's oh, it's looking like how I feel at the moment. <laughs> bedraggled and disappointed but you get that with your paint work sometimes just work with it that's it it's only paint it's only paint i'm not going to get upset about it it's just not worth it it's bigger things happening in the world isn't there so just enjoy what you're doing plod along plod plod okay so I'm sure you can all do a better job than I've done on this one today. It is took some twists and turns and <laughs> keep working it, working it. I'm only going to, oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, actually, it's come quite interesting. I'm going to leave it at that. Ballooned, kissed it to death at the centre. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything. Those, oh my goodness, big gems. Big gem, jilly gems. Look at these. It created a whole little life in some of these big sort of islandy things that's happening. I'm going to leave it right there. Call it a day. Oh, I'll finish off my edges. I'll give you some close ups of those because they are pretty amazing. Some of those so thank you guys sticking with me through it all until next time bye for now hope you enjoyed that twist and turns as, as <laughs> complete morphing process okay my nana joke for today is when i was a child my mother told me i could be anyone i wanted to be turn out turns out identity theft is a crime Okay, yes, you can roll your eyes. Okay. Uh, why wouldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? Because it was tired. Tired. Ooh, that's a smudgy one. Sorry about that last photo. 
Bye for now, guys.